Always alerting, always tracking. This is Next Weather. And we complain about the Palmetto Expressway, <laughs> right? <laughs> like that. Gosh. Wow. It's a, a whole thing, different good thing story nobody there. was seriously hurt. Hey, Ivan Cabrera, how you doing? Indeed. Wow, <laughs> Elliot Rodriguez, how are you? He's back. <laughs> you look refreshed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nothing like a nice little two-week break uh, to get your batteries recharged. 85 degrees, everybody. We're on our way to Tuesday here. It feels like 94 still at this hour, and it has been feeling warmer and more humid. We almost hit a record high today, 93, so four away from our typical high, which has now fallen to 89 degrees. We were nowhere near that, although overnight temperatures at least closer to average. The rest of us here look at marathon at 96 degrees to looking at records across the keys here low to mid 90s uh, as uh, we head into uh, the evening and these are the feels like temperatures which tomorrow again like today will be in the triple digits but staying below 105 for most of us and that would uh, prevent a heat advisory from going out but still it's going to be a steamer of a day next radar neck we're quiet uh, that is going to be the case through most of tomorrow i think still some sea breeze thunderstorms and uh, some showers will develop but everything will migrate towards the west coast because that's where the wind is blowing from and then by the time we get into the end of the week this front is going to come in we're going to have more moisture to work with and so right now the rain chances are coming up not extremely high but right around 40 to 50 percent friday and saturday and uh, sunday as well so uh, the weekend looking a little stormier than uh, the next couple of days as we get some dry air well out ahead of uh, what is hurricane lee and of course the rip current threat will be with us through the middle part of the week we'll get to lee in a second there is rain tracker still showing again those showers and storms but everything booking over towards southwestern coast. And then for Wednesday, we'll do it all over again with a northerly flow. You see that? That is, again, the wind field, uh, not the wind field, I should say, from uh, Lee, but just the direction the winds are going to be blowing from. Uh, unusual for us, certainly north to south fetch there along the coast. And then the showers and storms will once again weaken as we get into the evening hours. We are past the peak of hurricane season, so there's that, right? We hit it yesterday, now on the way down, but it is a steep curve so we've got plenty of action still the end of September and into uh, October climatologically speaking and as far as the list we're almost down to the uh, second column here in fact Nigel is now appearing in our forecast heading into the end of uh, or the middle part of the week into the end of the week and there's that 70 percent chance it's that tropical wave right across the eastern uh, Atlantic that will migrate towards the northwest and that's where it'll likely regain or gain its tropical uh, characteristics here and we'll get uh, an aim out of it there is Lee still turning and not moving all that much, which is actually you know damaging for hurricanes. You spin in the same direction. At some point, you're going to start pulling up some cool water from well down below. And uh, so we're expecting it to move to really pick up as far as the speed is concerned west of Bermuda and then eventually heading up into New England, a big nor'easter coastal low for them. And that's going to translate into gusty winds, obviously, through the weekend. And if it gets close enough, well, it, uh, the rain bands are going to start impacting uh, with them as well. Should be interesting for the Dolphins game not expecting any cancellations uh, there as a result either. There is a rain chance going up 40% towards the end of the week, and then we'll bump it up a little bit more by Friday and into the weekend.